What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna to be checking out this buyer's product, Tri-Ball Ball Mount. So that's gonna have all three standard ball sizes and then a recovery hook here on the side. So you just pull it out, flip it, put a pin back in, and you can adjust to either one of these you need for whatever situation you need to use them in. Let's check it out. Now the way it's designed is very helpful. You know, having all those options for each one of the different size ball. That way if you have multiple different trailers that you're always hooking up to, and you don't want to have three different ball mounts in the back of your vehicle. You can easily just pull this out, switch it to one you need, and get going. One thing I will say about it though, is it is just a flat, it, it does not have a rise or a drop. And that's where to me, you know, not every trailer is built the same. So some are gonna have different heights or be lower than the other one, especially when you switch the ball size. That's gonna change up the trailer a little bit and you can't really get any adjustment out of it on this end. You do have other options out there. There are ball mounts that are adjustable, so you can bring it up or down or flip it around. It gives you a little bit of rise or a drop to adjust those different trailers. And I think that's actually gonna be helpful down the line if you do have those different size trailers with a different ball on there. You're gonna need that for sure. And then even one specifically, B&W makes one with a tri-ball head like this that you can adjust up and down so really, if that is, if you're looking at your trailers and you have those kind of issues, that can be the route to go. You're gonna pay a little bit more, but it's gonna be less headache in the end too, because then you can just adjust it where you need, height or whatever ball size you need, and you'll be good to go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and lower down our trailer on the two inch ball. And while I'm doing that, we can talk about gross trailer weight ratings. Now each, that's gonna change for whichever one of the ball you use with your trailer. So let's start at the bottom with the inch, inch and seven eighths ball down here. That's gonna have a rating of 6,000 pounds. And then our two inch ball up here that we're using right now is gonna be rated for 7,500 pounds. And our two and five sixteenths ball is gonna be rated up to 10,000 pounds. Something I do wanna point out is it does not come with a pin. So when you go to put in your hitch, you have to put the pin in the hitch pin hole here just to keep it in place. And if you have to buy one anyway, I would like to recommend getting the e-trailer locking hitch pin. That way you can lock up your ball mount when you're not around and you don't have to worry about anybody messing with it. Another thing about it is I saw when we took this out of the package, it already had some scuffs on it. It is, has a black powder coat finish on there and it looked like the quality control was just a little off. If there's scuffs on it right out of the box, then you know that it didn't really get an even coat on there. But overall, I mean, you really just care about this thing working. So a couple scuffs isn't gonna change much. A measurement I wanted to give you really quick is gonna be from the center of the hitch pin hole to the center of the ball. And that's gonna be eight inches. And why that one's important is sometimes with the multi-ball approach, these holes will be a little offset. Now that's not on this one, so that's awesome. They're all in line, so you can see as I flip it all the way around, they're all in the same spot, so that means it's always gonna be eight inches for a vehicle, which means it's always gonna sit the same way on the vehicle side. Something else is it's got a hollow shank in there, so if you really wanted to use a block anti-rattle device, you could. However, I would suggest using one attached on the outside because the whole point of this is to be easily flip it and use it as it needed. And if you have to get that block back out, that's not as easy as it should be. So e-trailer does offer one that attaches on the outside so you can pick that up and that way you have that anti-rattle and you can still have the functionality and flip it and use it however you want. Overall, I really like the convenience and having all those different sizes to use whenever you need them. And even the recovery hook will be nice to have because you never want to have to use that. But if you have to use it, I'm glad it's there. A nice, easy attachment point to get someone else pulled out or to help you out if you need it. The only thing I didn't like is that it doesn't have that adjustability. So, you know, like I said earlier, if you have all those different trailers with a different ball size, they're probably gonna be different heights and you're gonna need, need to adjust. And this just doesn't allow you to do that. And there's other ones that do and they're gonna be a little pricier, but just that height adjustment and the, the multiple ball size is really gonna help out. But if all your trailers are pretty level and you're not worried about that, you want just something that's gonna get the job done, this is gonna do it and it's gonna help you out a whole bunch. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and I hope this helped.